Hi everybody, welcome back to Speaking of Cocktails. I'm David and today we're on location in Chicago, Illinois. Today we're at El Che, an Argentinian inspired steakhouse and bar. My guest today is my friend Augustina. She's the head bartender here and an old friend. Hello, my name is Augustina. I'm the head bartender here at El Che. We're an Argentine inspired restaurant. I'm from Argentina, so it is awesome to work here and show everybody my country's food and my country's spirits. We do a lot of South American things, but mostly focused on Argentina. Tonight, we are gonna be making a Sazerac. I have my glass chilling here, and I like to add a little absinthe with the ice. I'm gonna be adding four dashes of Angostura bitters, and then eight of Peychaud's, and a quarter ounce of Dem. And then this is the part of the Sazerac that I love the most. Usually Sazeracs are made with cognac, but we do a split base. Not an even split base. We do a half ounce of cognac, and then one and a half of rye. I like to add ice all the way up, just because you are trying to get the cocktail as cold as possible and mix. People always ask how long to mix for. You just mix until you feel like it, depending on how diluted you want your cocktail. We are gonna garnish it with a lemon swath. And there's my Sazerac. All right, so we're here with the Sazeracs. So Augustina, tell me a little bit about, you know, the differences of kind of a classic Sazerac and what you guys do different here and why you, why you decided to do that. So the Sazerac is a classic American cocktail um, that was invented in New Orleans and it was just all cognac at first. You know, there's a lot of French influence in New Orleans. There was a little bug that killed all the plants in France. So they had to find a way to still make it, but like have a different, you know, ingredient. Cognac was becoming super expensive. So they're right down the street from Bourbon County. So they decided to start making it with bourbon and rye. For me, I've had all rye, I've had all cognac, and I've had like split base, like 50-50. I just feel like a little cognac goes such a long way. I would agree. And um, so you want rye to kind of be the most prominent. And it makes it a little bit more American, if you think about it, right? right. It makes it a little bit more of the US to just have more rye. One of my favorite things about your build is that I am not a huge absinthe fan. Mm. I, I like absinthe, but as you said, like with cognac, a little bit goes a long way. That is very much true or, on yeah. absinthe. So it's all you get in the cocktail. Yeah. And I think this is a cocktail that generally speaking, it's like you're getting all absinthe and nothing else. And this is a much better cocktail than that leads you to believe. Yeah. Yeah. And I never like want to be judgy towards bartenders or bars, but it is kind of a cocktail where you go to a cocktail bar and it's like, let's see what theirs is about. You know, it kind of right. like shows you the, the level. It's a good test cocktail. All right. So well, let's go for it. All right. Cheers. Cheers. As I said, the absinthe there is really, really muted. It's kind of at the end for like a split second. Yeah. And then it's gone. That is the best Sazerac I've had in a very long time. Oh, wow, that's awesome. That's because so nice. Because for that exact reason. It's, yeah, um, it's not too overpowering. And doing the split base you did, that works incredibly well. Yeah. I'm actually the really, Christmas. really digging yeah, yeah, yeah. this. But I also like doing a lot more Peychaud's than Angostura. That cherry flavor to it just adds a little bit more to the cognac, complements the cognac very well. The color is prettier. <laughs> yeah, and Peychaud's is another ingredient that to me can often overpower. Mm -hmm. One of my least favorite bitters, I, ah. I will admit. This, even though it does have higher Peychaud's than, than Angostura, it doesn't overpower it. Yeah. Again, I'm very impressed, but you know, you're my favorite Argentinian bartender <laughs> that I know. You're the only Argentinian bartender I was gonna bartender say, know, how but... many do you know? There's a lot of us, okay, so. So the classic Sazerac here from El Chez. Uh, thank you, Agustina, for making such a killer Sazerac, and thank you for having us again. Really thank appreciate it. Thank you so much, it. cheers. We'll see you next time. Tell your age on camera, wow. <laughs> We're gonna cut this whole part out. <laughs> I still want those guys in Hollywood to think I'm young and fresh and pretty, you know? So that's all it you is. Are, you are. Fun fact, everybody, I've been drinking her cocktails. We we figured out at least- 10 years. About 10 years at yeah, this point. Yeah, cool. we've, we've been friends for a while. And yeah. uh, so she has been one of my favorite bartenders for a long time. So Thank it, you. there's a reason I would like your stuff. Yeah. You know? awesome. I have for 10 years. Yeah. I keep coming back, so you there do. must be something. You do, <laughs> Classic Sazerac, I'm gonna say that again, I already <laughs> fucked it up. Did you?
Google, 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 So like it'll just be legs and she'll do like that's cool. It it it's cool and it's funky and it's quirky and and she was explaining it to her grandmother and she was like, so you only tattoo legs? Like people's she thought legs? She, yeah, she thought, <laughs> like the only like part of the body that she wanted to tattoo was legs. All right, I'm gonna shake this off because I'm laughing too hard. So. <laughs> Gotta focus. Sorry, I'm funny. <laughs>